Hello folks, in this video I'm going to share with you about how to make a fractal from scratch. Uh, just like in every programming, the first thing you need to do to get started is to know how to make the hello world program. For me, the hello world program or the hello world of the IFS fractal program such as Coyote and Apophysis is to create Sierpinski triangle and the Grand Julian fractal. So that's the two thing, two fractals that we are going to create today. Okay. First, we boot up the Chaotica and create a new empty world. And then open the world editor window. And first, we need to add a new iterator. So we click on this button, add new iterator. And then to add a transform, we expand the tree and click on transform. And then we click new transform. For the Sierpinski triangle, we are only need to use three linear iterator. For the first iterator, we need to scale down both feet of the iterator to 0.5. So click the pre affine of the first iterator and change the x axis and the y axis length to 0.5. Because we need three iterators, we add two more iterator with the same linear transform and modify the x and y axis length of both iterator. Okay, so now we have three iterators. We need to arrange them to create the Sierpinski triangle. So, how do you think we should arrange them? Of course, a shape of triangle. For the first iterator, we move the half left and half up. Uh, the second iterator, half left, half down. And the last iterator, half right, half down. There are three ways that you can use to move around your iterator. The first one is by moving it using the corner box on the pre avine here the second way to move uh, your iterator is move it freely by clicking it on the editor or if you want to be precise you can drag it while holding down the control button You can also click this snap to grid to make it snap to grid without have to press down the control button. When we look at the main window, we can see that we have a Sierpinski triangle. You can play with the shaders by clicking on the partial randomization button right here. It's easy. Okay, now we are going to make the Grand Julian. First, we create a new world. And then we add a new iterator. For the first iterator, we are going to add a filler for the Grand Julian. So, click add new transform. In this first transform, we choose bubble 1. Nothing is shown in the main window, so we need to add pre-transforms to show our bubble that we just created. To do that, click on the flame transform right here and click show pre-affine transform or pre-transform. Click on the three click the pre-transform and add new transform. And the transform is blur 0.1. Not really that interesting, right? That's because we haven't added the structure. So let's add the Julian iterator. We create, we add new iterator. new transform 
and for this one it's going to be Julian one and set the power to minus two now we can see something is happening but it's still not that interesting uh, to make it grander as the name suggests move the second iterator to the right by scrolling the x offset just like this 0 0.1 mm, not that interesting 0 0.2 0 0.3 and so on until it reaches x offset equals to 1 Now we can see that we have the Grand Julian Fractal, but it is somehow too dark. There is not much detail that we can see. To fix that, click on the weight on the second iterator and set the base weight to 5. Now you can see uh, the effect it increases the details in this area. So basically by increasing the weight, you increase the chance of the iterator to be shown. It is like you increasing its probability f uh, to hit that transform. So the next thing you can do is to change the palette. I personally uh, just select the random palette and random shaders until I get something I like. So let's change it. Uh, the trick is first you change uh, the number of a node into higher number something like 20 and change the shadow first until you get something that you like for example uh, you can have more color on it and then from from there you can change your palette to your liking And another thing that you can do is to play with the filler. So instead using bubble, you can try use other transforms such as blob. Butterfly. Looney tree square, squish, two-face, and anything. You just have to uh, experiment with this stuff and have fun. That's it for this video and hope you learned something more about Chaotica and Fractal making in general. See you again later.